Just uh, try to make English out of back, what it was. Our returning sponsor. Like to, proud to welcome back our returning sponsor, Compex USA. Go over to compexusa.com, enter promo code POWERCAST, and get 20 pa- 20 <laughs> pairs of what? <laughs> 28% off. I like it. 28%, which as I understand, is 28 more percent off because it's already on sale through the end of the year. So you get another 28% off. Me and Smelly have been using the Bluetooth one, the wireless version. You can walk around, easy to set up. I use that sucker every day. 25% off is not enough. So here at the PowerCast, we decided to do 28. There's we three of us. 30 because it's too fancy of a number. So there we're 28. Go. Only here at the PowerCast. Exactly. Code PowerCast, CompexUSA.com. Please note the Compex offer is good for a limited time and does not apply to the lowest price model, which is the Edge. We're also supported by HowMuchABench.net, home of Mark Bell's Slingshot, Bench Heavy with No Pain with Mark Bell's Slingshot, apparel for strong people from ApeManStrong.com and Bodybuilding.com. Bodybuilding.com is the world's largest fitness website and supplement store. Bodybuilding.com has free fitness plans for every level. Visit Bodybuilding.com today to become your best self. Hey, this is Jim McDonald. Welcome to episode 179 of the PowerCast. Hope everyone is having a great holiday. Uh, if you've got holiday money from Christmas or from Kwanzaa or Hanukkah or year in bonuses or any of those things, think about spending them with our sponsors. They support us and it'd be awesome if you supported them. Uh, this episode of the PowerCast is Brooke Erickson and Leanna Carr. They were both in the house in October when we recorded this episode uh, with Bodybuilding.com. And they're both figure competitors. Uh, Brooke has a pro card. She also has three daughters, and she has a very, very full life. Leanna is also a competitive powerlifter, and she's working on a pro card in figure. We talk about a lot of things, including the role of social media in fitness these days, and like, what what do you tell kids about social media? How much do you let them be um, exposed to, especially some of the racier images that we see in in uh, fitness these days so anyway it's something to think about and uh, we we talk through it quite a bit in this episode uh, like and share this episode and we'll see you next week with number 180 sure oh smoky you want a monster? Oh, I, you later some water. I, I, I hate when I'm not getting my refresher. <laughs> I just don't feel refreshed. Would you like a iced tea monster? No, I'm good. Actually. It's pretty good. I brought my Coke Zero. What do you want? Um, Recorded live at Super yeah, Training Gym in West Sacramento, California, this is Mark Bell's PowerCast. Alongside Silent Mike and Jim McDee, here's your host, Thank Mark you. Bell. Let's have a Bud Light in there. <laughs> I don't know if either of you are a fan of Bud Light. Oh, you don't like Bud I've Light? I've never even had one of these. Oh, uh, you never had a monster? No. Oh, are you caffeine sensitive? Oh, oh no! Is this? Oh, you'll be all right. This from last time, or is this that's new? Fine. Okay, <laughs> I got um, myself some water since they have other yeah. drinks. Yeah, oh, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. <So> refreshing, no? <laughs> I think. Oh, it's non-carbonated. Okay. Bada boom! Oh. A little you bit can of ice tea. Shake it up beforehand. You don't have to worry about burping. Shake it like a Polaroid picture <laughs> on mic. It's really good. I don't like that. The you don't like them. They Take them off. Take them okay. off. Take them all the way off. It's fine. Uh, you have to wear them. Just stay on mic. That's all I ask. Sounds good. We started, by the way. Okay. Oh, yeah. we're live. What's up? We're live. The whole world Hi. can hear you. You better start talking. Hello. <laughs> hello. Well, hello. You have a lot to tell us, don't you? Um. Don't you, Leanna? Since the last time I was here, <laughs> I, I have a couple things to tell you guys. Did you break Uh-oh. your back? Um. Well, Spinal? for one, the biggest news of the entire podcast broke is Mark. He told me that I'm <sighs> off the team. I was there. <laughs> I was sad. there. I have no idea what it means, but I was there. <laughs> I was there, you too. You and the rest of the world. I am off the team. Yeah, um, we had a meeting. Yes. A can team can you tell the world why um, I, I am off the team? I am, I'm not allowed to talk about the reasons why, but I think that you know what led to this. Like, deep down in your heart, I think you know what happened All here. Right. Um, it's, it's like being nominated for an award. At least you were on the team. That's true. To get kicked off. Mm-hmm. It's true. So, but it's like you were on she Survivor. Seemed pretty, but she seemed pretty hurt. Yeah. She's yeah. hurt because she never I, got a chance to celebrate. Can we just talk about something else? Like, <laughs> let's something yeah. that's like, more, yeah. more important. Um, thank you, Just guys. know that it was out of my control. Okay. Yeah. I there was other factors. All right. Well, yeah. we will let the masses um, tell you what they think about your decision. <laughs> before oh, no. the just weekend, grab that bad boy and tilt it out. down towards you, and then you don't have to cup on your toes. She's doing calf raises over there. There you go. She's really lifting. Perfection. Yeah, she's trying to get, like, huge. Calves. 
Do you even lift? A little bit. Do you even do calves? I'm going to make you burn. This is great. (laughs) (laughs) You guys are brilliant. Burning calories. Can you just do that the entire show? We should do like, we should do the wave. No chance. Yeah, actually, that would hurt There's no chance. The calf raise wave. We can have a competition. I'd be really sore. He's (laughs) he's got pretty big calves. Turn them into calves. He's got pretty big, you know. It's all genetics, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, everything. (laughs) Keep your eyes on the table, ladies. <laughs> what are you doing over I'm there? I'm a married man. <laughs> My eyes are up here. Yeah. Hey, now. What is going on There's around here? a bunch here? of perverts here in Super Training. He's staring at his calves. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're going to want to eat some tacos in a little while. You guys excited about that? I am very excited. At the Slanger Mansion. Okay. A I'm, taco truck, right? We have a taco truck, yeah. <laughs> Do you really? Legitimately taco truck. Yeah, but you're not a, a really, like... Coming like we're gonna go to Taco Truck by Mark's house, but like I think there's a place called like Taco Bell uh, Bell. down the street. (laughs) Yeah, you're gonna be more down the street. Yeah, you're gonna be more there, kind of by yourself. You know, (laughs) I will be throwing a fiesta at Taco Bell, and you guys aren't invited. (laughs) And she's gonna wear her her sticker (laughs) of being off the team. (laughs) Jim is invited. You're invited. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Damn. So sad. What would you get at Taco Bell? <laughs> uh, I found and not just Bell Grande, minus the tomatoes. Oh, there okay. you go. Yeah. They're like she's chicken tacos. She's been there before. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, the uh, Dorito Crunchwrap Supreme. That's still getting a little out there. I've See, never had I, that's craziness, I but that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, uh, like, how fat is that? And I'm also thinking, <laughs> I need to go to this place. <laughs> I did the uh, Burger King <laughs> Cheeto thing just because I thought it would be so ridiculous. And it Cheeto macaroni or something? Okay. It starts to cancel each other out after a while. So I think they put macaroni and cheese inside a Cheeto and then fried it or something? What? Inside of a Cheeto. Cheated. At Burger King? Yeah, look it up. Uh, I gotta look it this up. This kind of reminds me of the pastrami <laughs> sam- sandwich and sex. Uh, I don't what? remember this. Seinfeld, Seinfeld oh. episode. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't good. Well, it's just you can't mix too many great things together. Yeah, it doesn't work true. the way that you think. Yeah. Yeah. Cheeto yeah. dusted macaroni and cheese. No. Uh, you were Cheeto not dusted. Chicken Cheeto fries? That's obesity. It finest. was a Cheeto... Mac- yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what it was. That was. Uh, it was kind of like that. Okay. Chicken inside with dip. Dangerously cheesy. It was like that, except it was not chicken. It was macaroni and cheese. <laughs> ranch so dip. that's not it at all. Okay. And so you have that, to dip it's it like in that, ranch. but like way different. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, I like close. dipping everything in ranch. There it is. I don't. I can't do ranch. It makes me so fat. Uh, what's your guys' favorite food? <clears throat> oh man, I like sushi. Yeah. I like sushi. Good. What's sushi like in? Uh, Colorado. Um, there's there not a, a lot of like oceans around. Yeah, there aren't that many good places. There are a couple <laughs> in Denver. There. What's the difference though? You know, like if you get, uh, <coughs> like they'll say the salmon's from Alaska, so it's uh, like. Uh, well, apparently, <laughs> who yeah. cares? That I don't know. Apparently, the really like, where good does sushi it come from? is previously frozen. There's like right. a documentary about I don't yeah, remember yeah, the yeah. name of it, the sushi documentary, mm-hmm. and like one it's of the all greatest. It's about the rice, and it's yeah, about yeah, yeah. frozen. Sushi. You know that. N- 90 something percent of those the, of the sushi rice in the world is grown here in Sacramento, the uh, Sacramento area. Yeah, we do that. have a lot of rice. So, whenever you land it really? at the yeah. airport, all wow. around that's rice. That's rice. Okay. All of it's rice. So, I have a really gross story, but it's not about sushi, but it's about fish. We'll, we'll take it. it. Yeah. So, <laughs> because I learned this about sushi, so supposedly they take the worms mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. out and do I was worm. yeah, I was pregnant and I was cooking fish and it hit the frying pan. And all the worms went oh scattering out the oh. fire oh, pan. Oh, no. That's pretty gross. Oh. That's pretty gross. That's Did you eat it? Gross. That's like boring. Where'd you get this piece of fish from? <laughs> like a really fancy river bank. like butcher <laughs> shop that oh, okay. you know does the the and so it's supposed to be like yeah. sushi style yeah and i took it down and they're like this has happened you know here and there mm-hmm. that's it, it oh, oh you they, told them about it yeah oh i oh, took man. it down yeah my nine month pregnant ass <laughs> took it down and i was like <laughs> what <laughs> was this and they're like it's kind of normal Oh. You're like, I'm like man, no, it's kind of not. Would you settle for a couple Snickers bars <laughs> <laughs> in trade? You're like, sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, I actually no, do have crazy. another worm story similar to a oh Snickers my bar. <laughs> my dad bit into a Baby Uh-oh. Ruth once, and there oh. was a worm in it. Oh. Oh. And he wrote Baby, baby Ruth. Ruth and guess what they did? <laughs> what did they do? They sent him like a year supply of Baby the, Ruth. I would, okay. I would go money. You got to go money, <laughs> yeah. though. Okay, I so I was a kid eating a Reese's, and underneath the wrapper, the bottom wrapper piece, there was a maggot. Uh, I could have had free peanut butter, well, peanut butter cups <laughs> and you for I hope life. Yeah. Or you could have eaten the maggot and just like lost weight for like. Uh, probably. <laughs> I think uh, it's got to be a the maggot or diet something like that to oh, yeah. lose weight that's though. That's what they do. Yeah, that's, that's so you terrifying. Got, you have a couple kids, one kid. I have got? three actually. God, I have three girls. Who would have thought, right? I, I, estrogen. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Uh-huh. Lots. Oh yeah, three girls. Um, 13, 10, and eight. 
I know. You're like a seasoned warrior. That's why I have <laughs> yeah. a gym in my garage smart <laughs> smart because if smart. you're gonna do it you're gonna have to do it close oh, to home. Uh, pretty much yeah. and i honestly like my daughter just had a birthday party and we actually had a pull-up contest there in my go. garage excellent when awesome. it was like 10 little 13 year olds doing pull-ups it was yeah. awesome are they pretty into working out too they see mom oh well they play they, my kids yeah oh yeah. yeah oh yeah um my oldest plays competitive soccer so she's pretty into it that's cool oh. um my well, are you a crazy soccer mom Yes, I am. <laughs> you got to spend I will, a lot of time on I that. I will admit, I am yeah. crazy. Have you mom. fought anybody on the sidelines? I have come close. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> yes. A referee. That is awesome. What's the movie with Will Ferrell? <laughs> oh, oh, Soccer Dad. Uh, that's so good. <laughs> oh, no, but that, I... The two little Italian kids that can't speak English, yeah. and they recruit them to be on the nine-year-old's team, they kick everybody's <laughs> ass. It's act- it's awesome. So good. Um, no, I I, I've worked on it, but I'm pretty crazy soccer mom. It's not Didka, it's... Uh, or is it Didka? It is Didka. Yeah, Didka's his neighbor, yeah. and he's oh, like yeah. the, the rival coach. Mm. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. That's awesome. But, no, I love it. I love it. It's hard, though, when your kids are playing a sport. It's hard not to want to participate in... Oh, especially Be just being competitive. Yeah. I'm a yeah. competitive person by nature. Right. So, and I want my kids to be as competitive as I am. Right. Um, and when they're not, so that kind of makes me mad too. They all play soccer? No. Um, so my youngest is a just a freestyle dancer. Awesome. Um, That's cool. You should check out some <laughs> so of her <nice>. videos. Yeah. <laughs> um, I post her videos all the time. And Aww. then my middle is a skateboarder. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. She loves awesome. to. That's she awesome. loves to skateboard. So that's her. Her thing. What's your athletic background? High school or um, anything I, else? I actually played junior Olympic uh, fast pitch softball for oh. like eight years. Yeah. Um, insane. And then I decided I would rather be skinny, and I went that route. I never was, understood why girls use a softball. I never got it. Why do girls <laughs> play softball? Any, does anybody know? Because uh, I mean, does anybody know this origin? Like, it's not like you're playing against I guys. I played for a year, and you need yeah. to use a different. Like, why do girls use a different ball? And why is it bigger? Well, it, typically, girls' different? hands would be smaller. And it is bigger, but I will Why don't you say use a fucking baseball. I, I hey, <laughs> I'm right. Well, I used to hit in the baseball cages to yeah. be a better parent. There you go. There you go. But the girl, the 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 mound is a lot closer. Yeah, I've heard yeah. Uh, for your brain, it's the same if not harder. It's really hard. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure because uh, the ball's sure coming uh, uh, less speed, but way closer. So the way reaction closer. Times, yeah. Like girls, like I mean, when I got up until like when I was 18, girls were pitching, you know, 70 miles an hour. Yeah. Wow. And they're yeah. really close. You have like that amount of time to yeah. figure it out <laughs> on the wind up for that underhand pitch is a little bizarre too i know yeah, they like to nice. throw you on that one yeah. softball chicks are tough chicks dude. i used to work out with a, a really high level uh softball girl she uh, was on the u.s team for a while and then she played at arizona oh Ari- wow. uh, that was like my dream school was to play at arizona. yeah yeah all the chicks end up there yeah. so she's here local and we had just the same strength coach and she was a little bit older than me. She was probably like a senior in high school. I was a freshman. She's like benching the same weight I'm benching. Yeah, like, that's awesome. Like doing all the same shit. I'm doing like, God damn, this chick's a beast. <laughs> yeah, it, it's funny because actually I remember like a year ago I was I posted something like me benching and one of my friends, you know, Facebook always, you meet people yeah. that you've known forever mm-hmm. but you meet up again and someone like said, I can't believe you can bench that much and then this guy was like, I've known her since the fourth grade. She, yeah. she was benching. <laughs> She's like, always been a beast. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. And, and, but it's really that's true. Cool. I mean, I think I think any you know competitive sport. How much you bench? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I honestly I haven't I what haven't. What was the most you bench? Mm-hmm. Uh, one eight. Oh no, wait, one seventy five. That's nice. awesome. Yeah, that's great. That was that awesome. that was at uh, Lane's camp. Yeah, Lane's yeah. Camp. Cool. a couple years ago. Yeah. But That's it wasn't strong. like, you know, like my, I wasn't in the, I yeah, just, whatever. I just got under the yeah. bar and we don't care. shit. That's <laughs> Fucking we don't cheap care. gym lifts. We yeah. get it. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, I just did cheap gym lifts. Yeah. Leanna, Strictly last time for you weight. were here, you were, uh, I don't think you were moved and stuff and you moved to Colorado recently. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I've been in Colorado. Actually, I, I had just moved. Right. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Right. So I've been there for, um, 10 11 months now. How are you liking it? I love it. It's Why'd you move to Colorado? Um, just for something new, honestly. Yeah. yeah, something new. Um, just needed a break. I'm in, I told you guys I'm in grad school now and I found out I could finish online. So that's nice. So I was just like, sounds like not, a bullshit degree. Yeah. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> not, it's I'm sports psychology. It. It's, um, <laughs> Eh, kind of. It's, sort of. It's interesting though. Oh, there you go. You can slip those into the shelf that's right underneath oh, cool. and you're not have so to hold them the whole time. It. Um, and yeah, I just needed a break from the same old routine that I was used to all the time. So yeah. right now I'm out there finishing up school, you know, just working on my personal life, my a couple things that I, I had to get together. Um, 
Just being and a then, hippie yeah, and trying to find yourself. Like that. I'm, I've been hiking a lot, <laughs> which is cool. I told you guys I was taking the entire yeah. year off competing this year um, because of my knee issues. I've been coming back, and finally they're feeling a lot healthier, which is, you know, for the first time in a year, I'm actually, you know, able to say that my knees feel good. Um, what sports next then? Powerlifting? Um, or back on stage? Back on stage. That's what you were talking about earlier. Yeah, um, yeah I was telling hey her. I, I started, you know, I started as a figure competitor in the past couple of years. Have been just really sucked into powerlifting. I mean, you guys know how it is. It's, yeah. it's addicting you. Oh, you, yeah, for sure. You get stronger. And, um, yeah, just like the community aspect as well. I've been, you know, totally just sucked into that. But um, I realized that for longevity purposes, I needed to give my joints a little bit of a break mm. from all the heavy yeah. lifting. So that's kind of what I did now, um, and I finally feel like I'm in a good place to prep for a figure show. So that'll be starting pretty, pretty soon. Cool. Does it feel good to stop powerlifting for a little while and just you know not have to focus so much on the weights? Competitively, yeah. yeah. So I'm uh, I think I'm always going to be a powerlifter, yeah. and I will definitely compete again. But right. um, he, I mean you know how it is. If you're prepping for a meet, it's a lot different than just training as you know and doing the three main movements in your training. It's very time consuming right. and it's just very taxing you can spend on an body. hour on on the lift itself exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly a lot, of, a lot of training sessions, so yeah. yeah so it's a whole different monster to be competitive um, on the platform and i'm just like you know what i'll always be a power lifter at heart but right now i just i i need a break so that's kind of how are you I'm training at. right now um i'm still power lifting so squat benching and deadlifting my um frequency for my lifts are uh, much lower i'm not you know i'm squatting so like maybe once a week or something yeah once a week deadlifting twice benching three times leg press and lunge and yeah, bodybuilding shit afterwards yeah a lot of afterwards. hypertrophy stuff um and that's one thing that i you know it kind of makes it fun yeah. and is that like preset or you're just doing whatever um it's preset okay so um yeah in the past i've always especially if i've been training for hypertrophy just kind of went into the gym and did however many you know right. sets reps you know just did whatever Some i wanted to few. do that's yeah. enough to be used here at super yeah. training often exactly but i've been do a bunch of stuff exactly um, for a bunch of reps yeah but now i'm i'm tracking my progression with all those movements and it's it's definitely been paying off physique wise so hopefully next year i'll be jacked and still semi semi strong you're <laughs> uh you have a pretty good mentor you're lifting with oh birdo yeah, mm. he um, that might be able to help a little bit. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm very lucky. He's, I mean, you guys know, you guys know Birdo. Everybody we do. knows we do. Birdo. He's made a very tremendous impact on the natural bodybuilding world. So he's shredded. Yeah, yeah. smart guy. He is a very smart very guy. Very cool guy. Um, yeah. So he's been helping me with that. Um, and hopefully, yeah, next year it'll be my best showing to date. So. so do you guys do anything to like when you're, do you pose to see if you're improving your look and things like yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know how mm -hmm. important posing is. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if I'm, you know, 20 pounds over stage weight, posing always looks a little uh -huh. funny, but, um, <laughs> well, it's never, pounds. it's never normal <laughs> to even flare your lats. Number yeah, one. Yeah. It's like, Oh, let's stand up here and get as yeah. wide as we can. Uh, get used that's to why it. I walk everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> like we call that imaginary posing. lat syndrome. Like yeah. a cobra. <laughs> I don't think it's so imaginary. <coughs> Dan gets a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he had no imagination, he'd have no lats. Aww. 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 Poor Dan. <laughs> so the answer about softball and baseball seems <laughs> to be... <laughs> what do we got? Now we're, we're hauling it back in here. Uh, Jim seems loves to be baseball. The, uh, the size of the ball, is it's easier to hit, and then dimensions are different, and the pitching is obviously really yeah. different. That seems sexist. It, it probably I is. I want you chicks using a fucking is. baseball. Uh, but all sports. Like <laughs> if you're going to get out of the kitchen and you're going to stop taking care of the kids, <laughs> I want baseball. your asses hitting a fucking baseball. Uh, I would hit a baseball. <laughs> joking, but not joking. Uh, like, there is talk like that, but then, like, every sport, right, is kind of like that. Like, uh, there's ladies' tees in golf. They hit closer to the right. ball. Okay. Uh, basketball, there's got the three-point lines closer. Yeah. Some of it makes some sense, but they got to be able to hit a baseball. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you change to a baseball and you played it on a softball field, oh, overhand, that would be crazy. That would make it harder. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah, no. yeah, that might be wild. I can yeah. hit a baseball. I can't throw a baseball. Uh, oh, really? Uh, yeah, is it really that much different. Oh yeah, yeah. it's dramatically different. Mm. Yeah, that's what this article in Time seems. I'd probably they're rip just, a they're, they're not as comparable as you would think. <laughs> no, Same. they really are. Would be on that one. Stick to lifting. Rip a pick. At least. Yeah, I was always wondering about that. But the, I never that knew helps. about that about the three-point line. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a little closer. In the yeah. NBA, in high school, it's all the same. The I was say, because I play basketball. Yeah, yeah, high school is all the same, but oh. you start to go college or pro. Uh, college, I believe the guys go like a foot back, and the girls stay the same. And then pro, I think, is like oh. that. Is the ball different? Gotcha. Uh, yeah, girls' balls. Balls smaller. smaller yeah. Yeah. Balls smaller. Yeah. smaller. Smaller balls. Girls got small balls. small balls. <laughs> Learn something new every day. Yeah. What's it like having uh, three kids and, and trying to get your training in and everything and your nutrition and all that? Um, it's... You know, it's a lot easier now when I'm not competing. Mm-hmm. Um, when I was, I imagine the kids being a little older yeah. too has got to help. They don't need you <laughs> as much for everything. Yes, the only three, thing, five, and seven. Yeah, the only thing is though is like they have their schedules with their sports. So right. like a lot of my stuff revolves. I have my job. I mean, I I work from home, but right. I um you know obviously have their lives as well. Yeah. So right. I have to make sure that I try to get my training in. But half the time, like. I it's it's funny because I used to literally go to the gym and be at the gym two hours every yeah. single day, six days a week. Uh, my kids can tell you every single daycare lady's name, and <laughs> right. um, and they knew like the daycare people would be like scared if I was like doing cardio, and and they had to I had to come change a diaper. They'd be like, uh, you know, they didn't want to say <laughs> they didn't want to interrupt you. Um, so now where it's like I'll be out in my garage lifting and. They don't bother me. They just come out and dance around me, and it's you know a little bit different. I will say though, it's it's funny because I can get so sidetracked yeah. now compared to when I had to load my kids up, go to the car, mm, you know, get yeah. in the car, mm-hmm. go to the gym, yeah. get it done because that's all I had. Right. So it's you know, Leanna's like, are the you? The convenience of it sitting there is yeah, almost it's, worse it's, in some ways weird. sometimes. Yeah, oh, I can do it, it later. It's a catch twenty two because you know she asked me, and you won't do it at eight o'clock. And... Yeah, because she asked me, we were talking about competing, mm-hmm. and I said, you know, like I mean, in my mind, I'm thinking. I wouldn't be able to prep for a show with just my garage gym. Like that wouldn't work. Right. And so, because I mean, there's a difference between like training and like lifting just because yeah. you love lifting and right. then having to do certain things, you know, to look a certain way on stage. Yeah. And so it would be a commitment. Intense. Yeah. And then I'd be like pulling out of my garage and be like, why the hell am I going to the gym? You know, yeah. like I've got my, I've got my squat rack here. I've got this here. It's fucking yeah. ridiculous. The amount of stuff that women can handle, mm-hmm. especially moms. Oh yeah. yeah. My wife's fucking crazy. <laughs> she's president of the fucking PTA. She does stuff for slingshot, obviously. And yeah. she's just all over the fucking place oh. all the time. Like Jesus. I tell people all the time, amazing. like they say you can't. And then I'm like... a big baby. I need a lot of fucking help too. <laughs> you know, it's funny because my husband, we joke all the time. I'm like, you know, you literally, you get up and you go to work. And that's what you think about. It can only handle one thing at a time. <laughs> and Guys, like, that's and me, it's like, okay, I got to get this done, this done, yeah. this done, this done, this, you know, yeah. and that's yeah, you just. give him more than one task, he's going to go haywire. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, that's, he's, yeah. he's got his task and that's yeah. it. And, and we work well, like, I mean, we're traditional like that, right. but, um, so I don't, yeah, it's tough. What it does he do? Uh, he's a civil engineer. Oh, cool. And he owns his own. He owns his own engineering firm. Oh, that's right. awesome. Um, so you know, when you, own, you when you own your own business, you work all the time. Yeah, twenty four seven. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when he and he's, it's just him. So when you know, if we ever want to do anything, it's like it's it yeah. shuts down. So <laughs> it's it's so funny because people think, oh, being an entrepreneur, you're gonna have all this freedom. It's like, no, no, no. When you own your own business, it's, yeah. it is everything. You yeah. There's a lot of pros and cons. You to grind it, it out. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah, I was telling Brooke earlier, actually, she's like one of, the, do you guys know who she is, by the way? <laughs> They're like, <laughs> go, ahead and, go ahead and introduce us. Yeah, yeah. hit it. My, this is Brooke. So she is one of the first people I actually started following and like keeping up with when I started. Stalker. Looking. Yeah, <laughs> creepily. No, I, I'll be yeah. honest. She, um, yeah, and she's now I creep IPB her page pro. like all the time. Yeah. She, How did um, you find out about her? Um, she was like a huge deal. Like, I mean, she still is obviously, right. but, um. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. Well, it was before bodybuilding.com. Okay. Yeah. She um, did. I just remember like I, I got the idea that I wanted to start competing in figure and she was like the face of figure at the time. Like it's it's crazy. Um, And yeah, wow. I, I think I was just telling her earlier, like she's like literally one of the first people that got me interested in competing in the sport. And like now seeing what she does, like she's a full time mom. She like is able to balance, you know, obviously still staying you know active and fit I mean I'm sure you know a lot of people I know people personally who have gotten into competing and they just get burnt out from it because it's just so Mm -hmm. mentally draining and then they just you know kind of fall off the deep Mm -hmm. end after that and like just to see how 
she's still, oh, you know, too nice. like too nice. <laughs> keeping fitness a priority, but um, she has other things she focuses yeah. on. I it's think a it's a huge really priority. Cool. It, it is a priority, but it's it for me. It's it's one of those things. At the end of the day, it, that's not what defines me. Yeah. Right. And so it's it should add to my life, not become my life. <clears throat> yeah. That's right. a really good point. When's the uh, first time you ever competed in figure? 2010. So I did my first my first show was in the NGA, mm-hmm. and um, <clears throat> that was an interesting experience. You know, just standing on stage, I'd never done it before. I, you guys, I honestly, my, I was so nervous, my eyeballs were shaking. Um, <laughs> oh, I and I and I Feeling. seriously, it, my husband even laughed. He's like, "You look like a magician <laughs> yeah. up there. Every time you try to like change your pose, you like do this weird thing with your hands." <laughs> and I was like, "Because I didn't know what to do with my hands." Um, and then so I did that in April of 2010, and then I switched to the MPC and I did my first all natural MPC show, which mm-hmm. is Ironman in Seattle. Um, that's uh, Craig Productions, Emerald Cup. I don't know if you guys yeah, are yeah. familiar. I'm familiar with it. <clears throat> and so I did that, and that was when I qualified for nationals. And so I thought, oh, I'm just gonna just for fun, you know, next yeah. year maybe try. Because I mean, you see those girls. Some of those girls are. Yeah. yeah. It's so funny too, because a lot of people say, oh, you're you look huge on stage, and then they meet me in person. They're like, you're so tiny. <laughs> and I'm like, well, it is all you know. Yeah, yeah. posing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. getting um, tan, getting the lights. Yeah, yeah. getting yeah. pumped up. Shredded. Being a magician. Yeah, yeah. yeah really being <laughs> a magician. Yeah. Um, so then I did my first uh, national show, uh, July the following year, and mm. got second. And so I was like, wow, I mean, maybe I'd have a chance of winning my pro card. Because honestly, I mean, let's be real. There's a lot that goes into winning a pro card yeah, and, yeah. Mm-hmm. and the NPC and all right. of that. Um, and I was not willing to do any <laughs> of that. Um, I, I'm a mom first. So it's like if yeah. my kids can't see it or they can't hear it or it, you know, yeah. no way, not right. going there. Yeah. So I really felt like it was a long shot. I even had people emailing me going, I mean, really, do you think you're going to win your pro right. card? Um, and so... We were at the airport after I got second in Chicago, and my husband's like, look, let's just try one more. So we went to New York. We were going to do New York, but I had my kids. So what do I do? I mean, I'm in Chicago, and i got to find someone to watch my kids two weeks later to go to right. New York. That's crazy. Yeah. I drove them to Seattle to meet my mother-in-law, oh, drove God. back, <laughs> caught a flight at 5 a.m. the following morning, and competed like a day and a half later and Jesus. won. Shh. That's awesome. <laughs> and so, I mean, so it was like, I, my, my husband always jokes, he's like, this is going to be like the $10,000 pro card. Because <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah. it costs so much freaking money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> travel around like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, that's that's my competing story. So I competed in the pro circuit for a while. And, yeah. Leanna, <laughs> last time you were here, you were starting up uh, your kind of own girly website thingy yes <laughs> and, uh, girly website girly. strong <laughs> stuff thingy. yeah how's that going really good really good yeah. um yeah it's had a lot of success we've been able to have a online couple, programming yeah so it's group mainly for the ladies right yeah mainly towards powerlifting so like i said like it's power to think chicks. women's strength and it teaches women essentially how to powerlift and it's been pretty cool we've gotten a good amount of ladies competing yeah. um and right now i'm um myself and brian are working on a separate little project to go along with it because we found out that you know not everybody wants to power lift i mean you know obviously compete maybe yeah, right? exactly maybe this, they'll do a bench squat or deadlift but maybe exactly. they don't want right. to get on the platform right? yeah and it's very important to incorporate good programming um no matter what you do but at the same time it's we're, we're focusing on like more general population as well so it'll be another little project iron woman of physique and it'll be just geared towards so women awesome. who want to learn how to lift weights properly but don't necessarily want to compete properly i like properly, properly. Yeah. yes what have uh, you learned from that process because i imagine like uh you know you start something up and just like i'm laying a car people are gonna think i'm cool i'm gonna put this out there and did yeah. it like work like that or did you have to keep pumping it you have to um, keep talking about it even today to well, yeah. get it rolling and so you think about like um like the apple iphone right like i don't know anyone who you know, had the first generation iPhone just because it's a new product. It comes out mm-hmm. and you, you know, I didn't get one till it, I think like the iPhone five. So it's just like one of those things like you put out a product and it doesn't matter like how good you think the product is. You have to make other people believe that. And right. by doing, you know, the only way to do that is to put your time and effort into making the product better and like have happy customers. So I think, um, yeah, that's one thing that I, I found out like, okay, it doesn't matter who you are. Like people are gonna always be skeptical right. of the product. You have to, you know, keep just keep 
believing in your product and right. making it better and improving upon um you know i'm, I'm sure you know too like with Hell slingshot yeah. it's taken like a long time to get there so oh, yeah so yeah every every group we've had has gotten better and better and we've gotten more people so i'm just yeah it's it's, it's, awesome. it's been awesome it has very cool yeah. you have to make your early adopters very happy yeah, yeah <coughs> exactly exactly and that's like one thing you know even if you have a group of what 10 girls who believe in your product don't want to buy you know you make those 10 girls feel like you know they they just won the lottery like mm. you give your dedication to them and you you know do everything that you can to help them in their own journey and mm -hmm. then obviously it'll spread by word of word mouth, mouth yeah. We got talking with Meg Squats about all kinds of different stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but one thing that came up was peeing during lifting. Okay. And last time you were here, I remember yep. you hit a deadlift and you were like, whoops. I told you I didn't <laughs> and, make that up. <laughs> and, you, and you ran to the bathroom. Yep. Wait until you have kids. Uh, oh, Meg talked yeah. about that as well. Yeah. I already yeah. have kids and I still don't pee when I deadlift. Yeah. So I, nothing it changed is, for me. It is You're a, a lucky one. <laughs> yeah. It is a real problem. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, so she has a lot of info. Yeah, Meg's She a had a lot of information. Yeah. She has about, about like what underwear to wear and yeah. tampons. And, and, and <laughs> I, she's right there. I did, yeah. What I didn't know, and, and then I, until she said it, and then I went home. My wife's like, "Of course, that there are pelvic floor physical yep. therapists." Yeah, I had yep. no clue. I've actually been to one. Yeah, and it, <laughs> I will say it has helped. It yeah, helps, just yeah. kind of. I mean, obviously, you think about what you're doing when you're deadlifting or squatting. You have all that intradominal, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm pressure it's going to be pushing on something right more than likely your pelvic floor i would like to to just change uh the verbiage that we use okay so everybody listening Make can just get on board what's, well what's it's just the purpose of the change? it's just it's more attractive <laughs> oh yeah. yeah 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 i like it make, so it, instead make of peeing on deadlift sexy yeah we're trying instead to do of here? saying you're peeing say you're squirting you're uh, squirting. <laughs> since pee and squirt are the same thing i think uh they're both urine I think for, for, the, for the record. It okay. changes the vibe of powerlifting in general. Because if you said, I just squirted all over the platform, a dude would be like, fuck, that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Hey, now. Okay. They might get excited. It's all about marketing. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Different subject. Oh, she pissed all over the platform. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, she just squirted all over the bar. <laughs> she must really yeah. look like that. Can I go next? <laughs> it's all about, hey, present things. I, like, I maintain that if Colin Kaepernick had said that he was praying for the future of America during the, yeah. the national yeah, anthem, done everyone would have been behind him, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Possible. That is actually a very good point. He's got great hair. He's got amazing He's going hair. nuts right now. Like Did he? I kind of can. I feel yeah. like I'm watching Mod Squad every time I see him <laughs> I kind of can't grow hair like yeah. that. Just uh, borrow his, his conditioner and shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he when started Jimmy. last week, yeah. <laughs> he started this, it's it's this week, too. Yeah. He's, we'll start this week, too. I didn't get to watch him. I, don't, I, don't, I do not know when this episode is going to air, so Kaepernick anything has been could, playing. He could have been doing, done anything by this point. We're could in the future the right now. We, pull, we are tra uh, time traveling possible. right now. <laughs> yeah. That is possible. <laughs> Sometime before Christmas, let's just His say. His first start didn't <laughs> go well, I know, but I the 49ers watch suck anyway. Uh, they're yeah. really bad. I oh man, Birdo's gonna hear that and be so oh, sad. Oh, he's a huge Niners fan. He's a huge. He knows though. He hasn't yeah. been watching. He's aware. Yeah, yeah. he's it's aware. He, uh, Birdo's aware that we amongst suck all right those now. Broncos fans. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, Poor they're doing okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they are good. Poor Birdo. We don't even have a professional team in Idaho. <laughs> it's like that is true <laughs> and sad. But you got. But we do have BSU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we yeah, you got the blue we're, field. Me and Mark broke yeah, uh, broke in to do that. Yeah, we went. We played catch on that. The blue turf. Smurf the turf. Smurf turf. Yeah. That's right. I saw that the other day, actually. Yeah. The birds fly into it. They think it's water and they fucking die. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean, they do. It's a big problem. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Issue. Right? They, they fucking nosedive into it. And that they actually shit. even changed the color of the turf for I a while, heard, and yeah. it was a big yeah, deal I'm sure. in our area. Like, yeah. why Like, why yeah. did they change the color blue? Like, birds are yeah. dying, man. <laughs> it's like, up our fucking ecosystem. Wow. I never even thought about that. Ecosystem? Yeah. No, they do. 50% facts. That was right. 50% facts. And it's also a big deal, too. Point. for the kids to false. play on the blue turf. I okay. think it's so cute. Oh, like, uh, it was a big deal for me and Mark to get on yeah. it. Yeah. We tried hard. We got kicked out and then we had to go back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dad kind of kicked us out and then we like found our way kids, in. kids, we got kicked out. And we can't be here. We're like, oh, okay. And we're, then we we're, played catch. Took off. Nice. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Did it you bring fun. your own ball? Did you find one there? So the guys that, uh, I wish, Verdant CrossFit? Yeah, Verdant. That's right. CrossFit, right Verdant, there. those boys, son? Yes, I know son. Son, our boy son. The kid with the dreads? Uh, no, 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 no. Son was his friend. Uh, I don't 
remember. Sorry, guys. The kid was a dreads. Remember, he came, ran down the stairs and then sprinted out yeah, and then jumped you, on jumped top you. of me. I can't remember <laughs> the guy's name with the dreads. I uh, can't remember. But those boys uh, heard that they're music. listening. They're so mad. Town, I know. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> it was like two years ago. It was a while. Ago. And we only okay. well, we only played catch together. We haven't met them since. But they <sighs> uh, heard me and Mark wanted to go in the field. They're like, Oh, we could get you we in. We can get you in. Yeah. And they knew like somebody that was an intern there or something. Oh, you never trust those guys. Dude, it was great. They had a football and they got us in. Oh, so Mike was heaving you? the ball around like he's fucking Johnny Unitas. <laughs> yeah, we're going nuts out there. <laughs> so Son just competed in the games. Uh, yeah, he's a very good. And he got um, his team got fifteenth. Yeah, he's a very good games, crossfitter. which is a pretty big deal. I mean, yeah, it's I not think. easy. I don't. Have you don't, done any CrossFit? No, I do not have that kind of mobility at all whatsoever. Mm. Like, mm. <laughs> no, can't do Olympic lifts and stuff like that. Really. Um, I, you know, I, with it. I actually have autoimmune diseases so I, like i have arthritis and stuff so yeah. i have to be very careful or i i won't be able to walk for like a week. yeah, yeah. Wow. but i can do a squat on a medicine ball there you oh. go there you that's go that's impressive i'll I show you guys. Well, you you, I'll we don't have a medicine ball, i was gonna say i'll go to target and get one <laughs> and show you guys yeah, so to tomorrow show. after everyone's oh, like lifted one. like crazy amount yeah, of weight yeah. i'll be like yeah but get on Check a medicine ball do a squat i think we have one medicine ball out there no, I'm talking like I the little like ones. Yeah, that. we have one like medium one. Yeah, so I I, try it. I use a little six pounder at home, <laughs> and it. I put the videos on Instagram. That's pretty all good. The like time. uh, like the old cartoons where an elephant's balancing on yes, a ball. Yes, yes. I do it nice, for fun, nice. just for fun, just to change it up. More than anything, it was actually to entertain my kids. It's yeah, like, yeah. Hey, you want to see this? Watch what mom can do. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing over cool there, Smokey? <laughs> Been working out. Get over here, buddy. Hey, come hop in. Yeah. Hey, what? He's got a belt on. Smokey's got a big squat day today, buddy. serious. What are you at right now? You got talking to a microphone. You guys have a big. Competition coming. Hello. Up, right? Yeah, you're yes, on, we, Smokey. Yes. Uh, what 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 have you taken so far, and how'd it go? Three twenty five. It felt great. Uh, you got four hundred and fifty pounds. Yeah, four fifty five. Leanna squatted more than three twenty five. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> oh, for reps. Yeah. Okay. I did two. I did two. That's good. Did you do, have you done two? No, I haven't. No, no big deal. Goals. <laughs> <laughs> Goals. <laughs> three twenty five. Yeah. I think my yeah, you my guys hips are all would break. Yeah, are you <laughs> doing the meet? I'm no. an Instagram looker. I would pee my pants for <laughs> sure on a three twenty five. <laughs> from life oh wait okay so i have a question for you about Uh-oh. your training lately i've been keeping my up underwear with it. red go ahead i'm listening <laughs> have been you been stalking up with it and you have been doing a more hypertrophy type i've training. been doing all kinds of stuff okay Can i've I? been doing more warming up and more of this and more of that for what reason just to be smarter with training and to get just to not get hurt again okay yeah okay tore my pec like three times tore the same one twice and just trying not to get fucked up. Yeah, that's... And trying to bench 600 pounds. Okay. Total 2,000 pounds. And Silent Mike's going to pick me up on his shoulders. And I'm going to ride, ride off, off in the sunset. The, in Beautiful. the sunset. Okay. We'll run off Mike's going to break his neck and his back. <laughs> 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 trying yeah, to waste me up. But yeah, we'll run off into the Colorado. <laughs> Never be that's found again. That's the goal. And that's uh, in okay. March. So I'm trying okay. to take my time. Cool. And that's what something that I've kind of had to do. It kind of feels like you're backpedaling a little bit. It's never fun to. No, it sucks. I do a lot. I do like a 40 minute warm up, which is just awful. Yeah. And then you're lifting lighter weights than everyone else in the gym. And you're like, okay, so backpedaling to you would be like my PR. Like, (laughs) I'd be like, yeah. Yeah. No, I feel, I feel thankful, you know, that I'm able to still lift and, you know, I, I've been doing this shit for a long time, so to even be able to do it for how long I've been doing it for, okay. I'm still ex- really excited about cool. being able to do anything in the gym. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of how I. You know, really, feel. I started when I was 12, so. We had a lead 39. I'm gonna be fucking I'm, 40. That so. is awesome. Hey, I'm almost 40. Yeah, I've been doing it for a long time. So. Yeah, I wanna. I just turned 25 on Monday. So. Old. Yeah. And I'm like, I want to <laughs> keep lifting for the next like. 25 30 50 years it seems like everybody we have on this podcast when i say when did this start when did that start it's like t- like back in 2010 yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, no i feel like yeah. not even because yeah. uh, a lot of people are like yeah like 2012 yeah. 13 yeah. then it makes me feel old even <laughs> yeah well powerlifting's cool now like it's literally <laughs> yeah. like yeah, it, it, cool. it wasn't back then but yeah. i mean it you is know, cool. it's, it's it's Back crazy. in the day, even when it was on TV, it wasn't cool the way it's cool now. It was probably it's more like of a circus deal yeah. then. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like it's, a fashion trend now. Yeah, like it's, it's, it's everybody. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so I actually thought what was becoming cool was power builders. Yeah. I think yeah, maybe that bit. term, but I, I agree. A lot of like uh, bikini girls and figure girls mm-hmm. are, are kind of doing multi-sport yeah. deal. Kind of, uh, you know, Leanna, I think, was one of the first that I saw uh, kind of competing what, both, which is really cool. I thought that Michael yeah. Hearn trademarked that word. Uh, he might have. And we have a lot of other friends, Katie and some other B 
beast or yeah. kind of uh you know doing a high level Katie of both beast. yeah katie yeah. ann's ridiculous um, like, like ridiculous yeah and, and to do a high level of Crazy. two of anything i think is really impressive whether it's you know bo jackson and, and football and, and baseball or it's Deion sanders and football and baseball michael jordan whatever it is right. yeah. uh let alone even though these sports kind of are similar they're not really that similar no you know like you, your really mindset's got to be a little different uh your lifestyle's got to be yeah, different for sure. i remember i used to like People used to ask me about lifting all the time when I was a kid, and I used to always try to like downplay. I was like embarrassed by it. I remember my mom like called the school and like told her, told the you know principal that I set this record, and they like announced on the PA, and I just heard like fucking purple. Yeah, yeah. Like, I thought I was gonna yeah. fucking yeah. die. I'm like, I didn't want anybody to know. Like, it's like yeah. a little it marky. Wasn't cool. Like yeah. it was like it was yeah. a weird thing. And like, what the fuck's power lifting? Yeah. Little like, marky held his yeah. breath the longest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what is that? I'm like, mom, don't do that. I was like, no one needs to know. No one cares. No one, no one even knows what power lifting is. So there's yeah. no point really talking about it. Mm-hmm. People know football, baseball, basketball, yeah. and track, Carl and that's about it. Like, yeah, yeah. What do you do? What the yeah. hell did you do? I'm like, yeah, don't I worry think about uh, just that alone is cool that people know what a power lift yeah. is and know what a uh, uh, Olympic <laughs> lift is, and yeah. know yeah. what uh, you know maybe even uh, figure bikinis a little bit more. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> sometimes people don't know, but I'm talking pop right. media, you no, know. But yeah. for them to know, like, oh, that's when they deadlift. Like, yeah, right. Uh, I've been going to the same 24 hour fitness. Uh, I don't know, obviously before super training, um, and still I'll go do biceps there or something just because mm-hmm. it's closer to my house. Yeah, uh, and within the last i guess probably eight years uh they had one squat rack now they have uh five or six squat racks right. yeah. uh i was the only person squatting in there and now when right. i'm doing preacher curls like there's like <laughs> four, the, you know two or three chicks squatting and two or three yeah. tick uh deadlifting is yeah. really cool is the one downtown it. has turf and uh that's not mine now yeah and that's pretty cool and that's bumper like plates and yeah, so yeah. mine's all that a stuff tiny now. one and it used to have uh like 20 ab machines in a row which is mm-hmm. obviously super overkill like that's three right. yeah. three right. weighted ones right. three non and yeah. one horizontal like all right how many fucking ab machines do you need uh, and they literally got rid of four all or that. five different calf machines yeah. dude yeah. it's ridiculous so, classic, <laughs> so then now yeah they have like it kind of looks like a little uh college weight room in the corner that's bumper awesome. plates Yep. I actually remember going to the gym when I was actually trying to like gain weight. Cause when I first started out, I was like a hundred pounds and I was actually trying to like, like gain weight. So I didn't really know of powerlifting, mm-hmm. but I was coached into believing that I just needed to lift really heavy no yeah. matter what I yeah. did. Right. So at the gym that I went to, it was a gold at the time and now it's like a private chain in, in Idaho, but they had the women's room, mm-hmm. you know, you had your little tiny box with mm-hmm. the stuff in. Yeah. And I went in there the first time with my very first program on trying to add lean mass to my little frame. And I was like, none of this stuff is in here, like in the, in the, the women's room. Girls so, rooms fucked up. That's kind of like a big ball for is. softball. Pretty much. <laughs> the pretty fuck much. is curved. Pretty much. So then I, I, I like mosey down. I was by myself yes. and I like went down the stairs and I remember standing on the gym floor for the very first time. And there was mm-hmm. like, no girls out yeah. there <laughs> and it was all guys and we live in a very i want to say bodybuilding style community right. uh-huh. um and so I mean, aggressive you guys been, bros just like just oh, yeah and in so there, you're just like, like ripped, ripped off so t-shirts yeah and stuff. very much so yeah. um and i love a lot of them i mean they're awesome yeah. people but i mean very intimidating yeah. if you when don't you're know new. yeah when you're, you're like what the fuck's going and on so here i am with my little piece of paper and i'm like and then I see how they're lifting, and I'm just like, okay, You're like, that's apparently I have to carry around yeah, a yeah. gallon of water and, with me. That's, yeah. uh, and really I need a fanny pack. Okay, a couple <laughs> syringes. And it's like, uh, it's, I'm in. <laughs> yeah. Aside from that, um, <laughs> but it was interesting because I really adapted. Uh, like that was that was how I thought I had to lift. Yeah. And so, but what's awesome? Well, I obviously I have my gym in my garage now. But by the time that I kind of slowly made my way out of the gym. There were females yeah, yeah. everywhere. Really I mean, cool. and it became like, I mean, they were the ones hogging the squat rack. Yeah. They were the ones yeah, hogging great. the bench. Awesome. You know, it was like, and it's it's crazy how it's kind of transitioned. And yeah. I, I love it because. The I miscalculation wish- was thinking that women wouldn't approach it the same way that men do. Yeah, how, yeah. right? Like. How did that I, I, happen? I don't know, but that was the miscalculation. Yeah, it's yeah. insane. I don't know how people think that way. Yeah. Uh, it is cool though. And Mark mentioned like 2010 because a lot of guests do say around that. But that yeah. is, I feel like, when things started going nuts. Yeah. And it's the same time social media went nuts. Such, social you know? media had a lot to and do so, with yeah, it for the, sure. Yeah, yeah CrossFit. You see other girls doing it. Yeah. yeah. As well as CrossFit started to become really CrossFit. popular. It's kind of right. more invented, whatever, 2003 or something. Mm-hmm. But it really started to pick up. Uh, right. 08, 09, I was gonna say yeah. 08 is when yeah. I really started. Yeah. You know, but yeah. 2010 was when I was like, okay, I'm gonna get bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's cool. Well, I think maybe girls too just didn't know that they could do certain things like flip like yeah. Yeah. maybe maybe they knew they could deadlift like play like baseball anyone can, yeah. yeah like hit a goddamn baseball <laughs> <laughs> 
like uh, you know, something like a deadlift, you can put whatever weight on there you want. But yeah, maybe right. girls didn't recognize that they could do like a tire flip. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. Like how empowering is that? Like it's yeah. fucking cool. Yeah. Well, Just flipped over four hundred pound tire. Yeah, absolutely. Like you don't have to be able to lift 400 pounds to be able to lift a 400 pound right. tire. It's like right. the execution of it and leverage. You're picking up X amount of weight, mm-hmm. but it, it could be something really cool that you never even thought of before. Yeah. yeah. But now you see some other girl do it and you're like, fuck, man, I, I would love to try yeah. that sometime. Yeah. I bet absolutely. I and then when the girl is uh, similar size or a similar mm-hmm. look yeah. or height or weight, and then you're thinking, oh, I could probably. I could probably do that. You know, well, and I shot. think like it too, especially like in my gym, like like I said, like people on stage would be like, "Oh, you're you're big," and they see me in person, like, "Oh, you're tiny." Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they, and, but yet, you know, to them, it's like, "Oh, you can shoulder press fifties," you know, and they right. didn't think that was possible. Yeah. And it's like, you don't have to be massive to be able to, yeah, handle you know, some handle exactly. some weight, you know. And I think that's such a a misconception out there is that people think like, "Oh, I can't do that because you know." I'm so small or, you know, yeah. especially girls, they always try to make themselves small, yeah, yeah. whether it's physically or yeah. mentally, they're always trying to make yeah. themselves small. Ladies um, that are listening, you, you go up in, in, a, in stock quite a bit when you start doing some powerlifting yeah. in, yeah, our, yeah. in our opinion. So it, we think it's sexy. We think yeah. it's cool. Yeah. Well, and and, and it doesn't even, and, and it, it's making yourself big doesn't even have to be in size. It can be no. just like, just the fact that you're willing to step up and be like, hey, I can do yeah. this. Yeah. It doesn't have to be. Right. Oh, Confidence yeah. is very huge. I remember like my first, uh, or and PC Nationals I went to in Atlanta in 2012. It was like when I really wanted to do figure and I stood in line, met this, you know, IFBB pro um, and she was like, you know, when are you gonna compete? And I was like, well, I wanna compete next year but I was thinking about doing powerlifting. And I remember she told me like, Oh no no! You're like too pretty to do powerlifting. Like she, I remember uh, her saying that to me, well, and I was that's just a like, real insult to me and Mark. <laughs> <laughs> well, just like the fact that she thought that powerlifters were like, you know, these big yeah. like yeah. like big burly people. Yeah, and it just um, it kind of stuck with me, mm-hmm. and you know, obviously the next year I powerlifted, and you right. sent and her like, hate and emails. And she could be like on the cover Fuck of Sports Illustrated. It's, yeah, I mean seriously, but it you was know, just, yeah, it was one of those things that you know I think most girls kind of like what you said like. I don't know many other girls who got into lifting weights or like working out um, other than reasons to look better. Look or better. Feel better I remember about when you had girls body. coming in <clears throat> in 2008, 2009 into the gym, <clears throat> I would tell them a lot because I didn't really want a bunch of girls in the gym. Like, yeah. honestly, I just wanted it to be like distracting. Yeah, yeah. it can yeah. be fucking distracting, you know? And so whenever girls would come in, a lot of times I was like, ah, oh, you know, it's a bunch of big guys, you know, big guys. And, I remember like there being like a switch mm-hmm. where the girls were like, that's fucking cool. Yeah. yeah. A gym full of dudes and I'm the only girl in here. Like, I like yeah. that attention. Oh, like, I'm in. Count I, me ha- in. I have to admit it. First one. And girls... they were like attracted to it. Like, yeah. these big, like, I was like, they got these kind of like big, fat, sweaty yeah, guys. Bad. They were like, this mm-hmm. is great. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, God damn, it backfired. I'm trying, <laughs> to, trying to get them to stay the hell out of the gym. It didn't work. Yeah. yeah, no, I, I think it's awesome. And I, I think that people like, you know, you and um, Katie Ann and whatnot, I mean, they definitely show that powerlifting yeah. isn't, you know, for girls that aren't attractive. Yeah. I mean, let's be real. Yeah. Like, I There's a lot of different types of people in the sport. Yeah. Exactly. You got young people, well, old people. Okay, yeah. there's plenty of girls on a bikini stage or right. in the figure stage. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's definitely <laughs> not, <working>. not female. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Right. So I'm just calling it like it is. So. Right. <clears throat> but yeah, we, with the CrossFitters and stuff that we've had in the gym, we've gotten a lot of that where people are like, oh, they look like dudes. I'm like, man, if you've seen these girls in person, that would be the last thing you'd be thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. Thinking, oh, dude, that girl's I'm hot. I'm like, who cares <laughs> oh, if you yeah. think I look like a dude? I yeah. mean, oh, like, yeah. realistically, I, I don't think yeah, right. any of these girls, you know, do what they do um, for the approval of mm-hmm. men. Right. Absolutely. Men. I mean, yeah. So. Yeah. And of some but. random person, too. On the yeah, end. I could care exactly. less. Exactly. I've, had, I've been told I look like a guy so many times on... I mean, this was probably back in more of my competing days mm. when I was like stage conditioned and whatnot. Mm-hmm. You know, I even actually was at Target once with my daughters, and we were doing last minute, uh, you know, shopping right before I was leaving for my show to compete in the Tahoe show. And this was in 2013, and two um, older women walked by, and they literally said out loud in front of my girls, "You are disgusting." Wow. Like out loud. Uh, and my wild. daughter looked at me. She goes, "Did they just call you disgusting?" And I said, yeah, they did. And I feel so bad for them (laughs) because they must not feel good about themselves. Like they're obviously, why are they they even paying attention? Um, But it's, it really is true because, and and to take it one step further, I even had parents that didn't know me, but found my Facebook page 
and would like inquire up to other my kids like friends parents do you know anything about her you know i mean nice. would you trust her with your kids uh, just based on how i looked and right. like the in their mind the industry that i represented yeah, yeah, yeah. um i'm doing yeah. quotes by the way so yeah, air quotes. <laughs> it's, you know i think it's the same thing with with guys that say oh she looks like a, a, a dude it there these are guys that probably don't look that much like yeah. guys yeah. themselves, yeah. you know, so they don't have that, they don't have a good body image themselves, so they have a difficult time appreciating somebody yep. yeah. else's. Bringing up the industry and stereotypes, it's still out there to the uh, main media too, you know, like even guys, like, uh, like oh, like I list ways to meathead, he's an idiot. Mm-hmm. We, we say meathead in the most, like, flattering way ever. Yeah. Uh, we mention people like, you know, like Leanna came on the podcast, and then the next week, like, oh, dude, Leanna it was awesome, like, she's a meathead, like, she yeah. gets it, that's what we yeah. mean by yeah. it, right. but mm-hmm. the world means it like, oh, that oh, guy's a fucking negative. idiot, he drinks yeah. protein right. and lifts weights because he has no other talents. Right. Right? right? And yeah. that's like what right. people think. Well, yeah, yeah, no, it's news true. media, especially local news media, has to deal in stereotypes because yeah. they don't know. It's the only way to catch uh, yeah. attention. Yeah. yeah, they don't know anything else. They don't expect anybody else to either. So yeah, they've yeah. got to go yeah. for the, the the lowest common understandable yeah. definition, you know. Well, and what's crazy is like for most of the people that I know in the bodybuilding industry, especially like in my area that the guys that I was talking about, that's their outlet. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's not it has nothing to do with their yeah. capability of thinking on a certain level. It's like golf. It is strictly it's their outlet. Exactly. It's yeah. something they yeah. enjoy and it provides them a relief. Yeah, it's to know? get away from their wives yes, and or, hang yeah. out with the guys for an hour. Yeah. yeah it's mm-hmm. it's to f- yeah, whatever it may be and and then you talk to them and most people are surprised. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, they're they're awesome people, but like you said, the stereotype is, oh, they're meatheads, yeah. you know? And I think, uh, you know, same thing with social media and, and CrossFit and, yeah. you know, companies like Bodybuild.com and Reebok and these other companies that are trying to make a, a, yeah, a difference. Definitely. That, that it is changing uh, slightly. That yeah. People understand, like, well, shit, like, most of these meatheads are running their own company and making more money than I am sitting oh, at a desk. Yeah. And most of these meatheads are trying to be creative. And most of these meatheads, are, you know, Absolutely. because cause it is a big part of, of what we all do. And well, if you if you look like what somebody thinks is a meathead and you talk like a, like an intelligent person, then you have so yeah. much more credibility like yeah. right away with a lot right. of people. You have gravity, you know? Well, yeah. You know, and it, it, to be completely honest, most of the people that I know, whether it's powerlifting or in the competing world, have more dedication than yeah. anybody else yeah. I know. Yeah. Like it's, they, they are at a level of being able to dedicate themselves to something yeah. that most people can't even yeah. fathom. Most, most, most dedicated athletes are then, you know, athletes like as in basketball players or you know in a mm-hmm. in a sport that obviously gets more recognized in the mainstream yeah. um a lot so. of people a lot of times they don't recognize uh you know what they can get out of these sports yeah out oh, of absolutely. bodybuilding yeah. or out of crossfit or out of powerlifting we're always trying to think about the next number and mm-hmm. we're always trying to think about you know being first and while those things are great uh, if you have the ability to change your body, to lower your body fat percentage mm-hmm. 5%, you have the ability to increase your bench press by 15 pounds, and ability to change your squat form right. and be able yeah. to break parallel and do all these great things. Or help other people, or too. Help, help other people, yeah. all these th- different things. You possess the ability. You are a capable being of doing right. anything. Yeah. Right, For right. Sure. Literally, you can, you, know, you can start working on becoming better in all aspects of your life. If you're able to make those changes, why wouldn't, why wouldn't it be able to apply across the board? If if there's one thing that bodybuilding has taught me, it's patience. Yeah. No. Oh yeah. You know, you need a lot of it. Yeah. A lot of it. A lot of it. it. Especially like, like, Oh, my arms are small and you got to work on them. Or (laughs) more five years later, it grows half an inch. Yeah, exactly. Six years later, (laughs) you're like, yeah, I saw this a little bit stronger. And and you're ecstatic about it, but Mm -hmm. it's, it's a, it's, it's, for me, even for my kids, like my daughter, she plays competitive soccer. And I tell her all the time, I'm like, you don't have an excuse. You're 13 <laughs> and I'm practicing more than you are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I don't have that goal to be, you know, a, a collegiate right. athlete. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. if I'm practicing more yeah. than you, we have issues. Yeah. <laughs> so a part of it is just Yeah, if teaching. that's your goal, if that's a goal that you, you said, yeah, exa- that you set out to do, then you need to you follow need through. You need to follow through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And so for me, I just... And it, if you didn't say that goal, then that's fine too. I, and I, I tell just want to be all, on the soccer team. That's I, different. A- absolutely. And we talk right. about that all the time. There's a big difference between yeah. saying that this um, is what you want. I hear about you crying because you didn't make the team or, yeah. or whatever. Or like you didn't you, play as much as someone else mm-hmm. and you come on and say, don't come crying to me. You know? So she... it's it's Sitting on your ass watching YouTube. Yeah. 
<laughs> we yeah. have that issue. As long yeah. as it's yeah. ours, it's fine. You know, it's yeah. but it's just one of those things. And so it's funny because I just tell her all the time, I'm like, I, my, I am my driving force. Mm-hmm. Right. So you have to be your yeah. driving force. And, and it's funny. So every time now when I go out into my garage, that's when she practices. Yeah, that's cool. And, awesome. she, and it's like, hey, we can, I don't care. I'll do this with yeah. you all day long, yeah. you know. Um, and she's learning. Yeah. And I tell her all the time, it's the same thing with like bodybuilding or powerlifting. I, you know, you can't expect to do this twice a week for an hour and then show up to the game on Saturday and be better. Yeah. You can't expect to be mm-hmm. a, a, you know, a power lifter mm-hmm. that's going to win mm-hmm. and only do it twice a week. It takes serious dedication, yeah. you know? Yeah. So exactly. it's and the inch by like inch rule. Steph, she's in law school. You like literally the exact same thing. Like, you know, you have to put in the same amount of dedication discipline and once you've done like a a meet a prep like something like that it just kind of it shows changes you. you yeah it does and it kind of shows you too like all right like if i put my everything into this certain thing like cool opportunities can come from that so. she just took her bar exam yeah that's pretty insane no. that's insane yeah, she's insane and she told me i was like <laughs> what yeah <laughs> Like, it takes a while to get the results from that, right? Three months, she said. Oh, a bunch of lawyers. Right? Oh, I couldn't handle that. She finds that. out on Friday. Study like your I whole life for it. For it, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, and then come back in three months. Three months, we'll let you know. Oh. Can't it be a little faster than that? That <laughs> I mean, would Jesus. be insane. That's pretty crazy. How's uh, like nutrition and stuff like that in your household? Like, you oh, know, yeah. with, with you uh, living a certain lifestyle, uh, when your kids were really young, did you ever try to... I don't know, have certain principles that you so kind of had, them, had that. them follow or was it more like, you know, fuck it, this is what I do, it's super strict, I don't expect you to do that, eat a jelly donut. Okay, <laughs> so I, I'm really glad that yeah. you actually asked that because um, prior to get, you know, competing or actually even picking up a weight, uh, I suffered from, I say suffered, but I did it to myself. I had an eating disorder. I, uh, w- at one point, weighed 80 pounds in my life. Oh my God. So I identified food as like this bad thing. How much thing, do you weigh right? now? 115. Okay. Um, I, in the last two years, I've tried to lose a little bit of muscle, not because I don't like it, yeah. just because I just kind of want to rock a bikini at, for my husband and myself mm. and just be like, I'm shifting I'm, gears. Shifting yeah. gears. I'm different happy goals. at this weight. I'm happy yeah. at this no weight. No problem with right? having different goals. Um, so, so that transition of going from this person that was completely afraid of food um, and learning actually that food isn't bad. So, rather than being like this strict person where I can only have chicken or I can only have rice, the person that I worked with actually just taught me what was in food. So I started competing, started trying to actually train with the concept of macronutrients, just proteins, carbs, and fats, right? So, and and that's my background. Um, So when you started competing, did you just grab a coach right away? uh, Well, he was already a bodybuilder. And he was just the one that said to me, hey, I see how seriously you're kind taking this at the gym. Guidance like, mentor. Hey, maybe you should tr- think yeah. about this. Cool. But he knew about my history. We, I was very open with him. I came to him in tears and held him a magazine and said, can you help me look like this? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's very real. It was a very real struggle for me. Um, and, I, and I wasn't healthy. So for me with my kids, and, and I get teased and then I get patted on the back at the same time, um, there's no such thing as bad food in my house. I teach them moderation. So, because I don't ever want them to identify, Mm -hmm. oh, those chips are bad. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, Are you kind of meticulous? Like if you make a sandwich, you make them a certain size sandwich and cut it up? It's kind of thing? uh, Like when they were younger? Yes and no. So like, for example, my kids are not allowed to sit on the couch and just eat out of the bag of chips, but they can get a handful of chips. Because you can develop bad habits. Right. So I'm just trying to teach them, hey, you can have that, but just don't sit there and eat the whole bag <laughs> um Gladness. you know and and they, have a problem and they <laughs> and and i'm a um i'm a big advocate of not making them finish their plate yeah um i always teach yeah, them your parents said all the time that's just a old school thing i guess you well, don't get dessert say, unless yeah. you finish your plate yeah. you, you know think unless you finish your mac and cheese or yeah, yeah. something yeah. that's like you have it's to like eat that's that just a lot more calories yeah. what are we doing here I well, think and what's sad too is kids i mean come on they're kids they want dessert they right yeah, yeah. 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 so but, uh, you, that's understandable though right because it's probably like just two generations back mm. it was yeah. hard to get that food so then i understand why my grandpa yelled at my dad like my grandpa was driving a truck for 20 hours like my dad better finish that food and then you never know when they're going to eat it and my dad, he's working his fucking face off. So yeah. he's like, you better eat that, better you son of a that. bitch. I yeah. work for it, right? I work right. for it, right. Now there's food yeah, everywhere. We have else. different issues. Right, yeah. absolutely. And I agree with yeah. that 100%. So what I try to do with them is I teach them the concept of eat until you're no longer hungry. Yeah, it's huge. Um, because 
my middle, for example, not she, stuffed, but no longer yeah, hungry. Yeah, but no you longer don't hungry. Too crazy, yeah. Um, and she'll actually say, and it's funny because we'll be around other parents or like you know my in laws will come, and they'll be like, we really want dessert, and and they're like, well, no, no, you need to finish that. I'm like, no, no, no. See, they want to have some dessert, and they know that if they finish that. Yeah, they're mac gonna, and cheese. They're gonna feel <laughs> yeah too disgusting. Hot dog. Like, yeah. and so and they, you know, and they look at me kind of cross-eyed. Yeah. Sometimes but kids just literally don't need to eat that much. They yeah. don't need to eat yeah. that yeah. much. They really don't. And they're, they're, they That's judge awesome. it pretty well themselves. They'll eat half of something or a quarter of something. And you're like, you d- like yeah, I right. double check with my kids all the time. Are you done? Like, just they're like, yeah, like I'm. Yeah. But maybe they had cereal. Like maybe right. I didn't see them eat a mm-hmm. snack or two before. Yeah. And yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Why would you force it down their throat? I, I yeah. just especially yeah. when they're start to be become a little bit more self sufficient yeah. when they get mm-hmm. a little yeah, older. Yeah, they know. They know. They should. When they're grabbing and granola you need to bars teach them to like, like understand their cues, or hunger cues, or yeah. their biofeedback. Yeah. Like, oh, I didn't yeah. figure that out until I was like 25. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's Seriously. a lot of times for a lot of people, yeah. it's they figured out when it's like you're already past that point, and yeah. now exactly. you've got to your work. favorite shows on. Now you're hungry. And now you're that's different than and you're now you're mindless just sitting there, right? So. But it's funny because I I do teach them. I don't teach them like, oh, look at the, the box. It says enriched yeah. wheat, whatever. I actually teach them what's in this mm. and what a serving is. And it's hilarious because my youngest is eight. And she calls it the fatness. <laughs> and she'll like be like, mom, this has nine grams of the fatness in it. Um, <laughs> and I'm <great>. like... <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, but what's the total calories? You know, mm-hmm. like we, we try to break it down. So at least they kind of yeah. understand. Yeah. They really have cool. no clue what their caloric intake is. And to be completely honest, I don't know. Yeah, right. well, it doesn't but, matter. But it's the same thing. We've talked about uh, like our school program. This is going down a whole another road. But like uh, you don't learn how to like uh, apply for a job in high school. You don't learn mm-hmm. like you have some nutrition class, but it's total horseshit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you don't learn what a calorie is until college. If you take some of those exactly. classes, you don't learn how to do fucking taxes in yeah. high school. Like the things you like need real to know, life stuff. You don't learn right. any of it. Like no. hopefully your parents teach you and otherwise you're done for. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. You learn it on your own when you're, you know, yeah. 25 and now yeah, you're and like fat. shit. Yeah. yeah. When you're living on your own in college and even then, like, I, yeah. I don't even remember half the classes I took in my undergrad. They were very just, Pointless. <laughs> the oh. only issue that we do have in our house is we have big sweet, tooth, big sweet tooth. So, right. um, and and so candy is a big deal. Okay. Um, that is the one thing. Hard candy or like chocolate candy? Like chocolate? No. Well, I say chocolate, but man, they a will go with Skittles. I mean, it is <laughs> gone. And it, and my husband loves it. So and he's just like, don't bring that in the house, you know, because yeah. he'll eat. But then he wants it. He too, wants it. Time, you know, yeah. Hot tamales are a big thing in yeah. our house. We love hot tamales. Stuff like that is weird because you really get going on that you, stuff. And you yeah. just don't stop. I, I think mean, more so than just the chocolate. Like, yeah, yeah. Chocolate, chocolate like, I think, uh, gets too rich or something. Mm. Eat like a yeah. Skittles, like, eat like like a Snickers bar and yeah. you're good. You're good. But, man, those sweet ones. Like, are you yeah. Sour Patch? Well, is yeah. there yeah. only yeah. carbs? Yeah. yeah, that one time we put Sour Patch Kids we had a, we had a And I was like, oh, I don't really Mark care about it. We started whole thing through a podcast. <laughs> yeah. and, and we started, like, oh my God, we just we started the killing thing. that whole bag. Yeah. So that is the that only bad. thing I do have to regulate. I okay. It is not yeah. just freely in the house, it, but I buy it. Yeah, but some yeah. of those can be like habit stuff, too. We've talked on, a, I think, a super old podcast about like ice cream is kind of like that for me. So then like when I get ice cream, I go to an ice cream place and I get a cup. Right. If I buy the gallon, like I'm fucked. Or a pint, I'm fucked. So I go and get a Froyo thing. I go and get a couple scoops. And so then, you know, still not restricting, but it's just not in my fridge. Right. Because it'll be gone. Right. The other thing that Mike does with people that he works with on diet is he says just don't eat in front of a screen. Yeah, cell yeah. phone too. Well, like it's mindless. Yeah. Kids, yeah. kids, TV of course, yeah. but like adults, computer, yeah. adults, phone. Yeah. Like yeah. you're done for. That is actually funny because I, I never even thought about that. And my husband, so we have you know the island in the kitchen <laughs> where the, like the kids just pile up and they eat. Mm. Well, they all love to watch Netflix, yeah. and they yeah. put on their little iPad and they watch their shows. And I, one time, my husband walked in and I wasn't expecting him to come home. And he was just like, absolutely not. I was like, what? What did I do? And he's like, they are not allowed to watch TV while they're eating. Mm-hmm. You eat and then you're done. Yeah. Well, you know, now it's watching TV and your phone. Yeah. It, it, yeah, yeah. And it's eating. Terrible. Yeah. You're doing like seven things at the one so time. Th- I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, like texting and it's it's so that else. is another thing in our house they're not supposed to do is yeah. they're not allowed to watch TV and eat. Well, so Brian Shaw's kind of yeah, said something habits. similar when he was on our show, four time world's strongest man competitor and somebody who uh, eating is a l- large part of his life. Yeah. He's right. got to consume a ton of calories. He said he doesn't, when he eats, it's like training. Yeah. Yeah. It's part of like the process and 
he has to sit down and concentrate. Mm-hmm. He's not talking to anybody. Right. He's not on his phone. He's not near his phone. He's not near a screen of, of any right. kind either. He's sitting at a table. He's taking his time. He's chewing his food. Yeah. Yeah. And there's been scientific evidence, yeah. too, that shows that you digest it better. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Because you actually chew it more. Mm-hmm. A lot of times we're on the go and we're trying to move yep. and trying to do other things and we're eating. And you got to imagine that that probably doesn't get digested as well. You probably don't yeah. chew it as much. Right. That's the first part of digestion. Now, I will say with my daughter who plays competitive soccer, she has learned quite a bit on she has to get up two hours before a game. Yeah. Because yeah. mm. she's realized, okay, I need to have two packets of oatmeal two hours before a game because if I don't do that, I'm going to like – yeah, yeah. yeah. she's a little older too. So like when you're eight, that? you don't understand those things. Yeah. You don't but, even know how you feel. But yeah, you start yeah. getting your teenage years. But years. she's starting to understand that That's awesome. and understanding what that does for her. Yeah, yeah. and her performance. Yeah, oh really yeah, cool. for sure. Um, and we even talk about simple sugars, simple carbs mm-hmm. yeah. versus you know like okay, we want to eat this two hours and then maybe thirty minutes before we'll have this f- two fruit leathers. You know, mm-hmm. that's forty mm-hmm. grams of carbs right there, but it's simple. You know, yeah. it's something right. that you're gonna get really Burn quick. Up. You know, so. Those are, I mean, obviously my other two. Have you ever like, had a conversation with them about your eating My issues? eating, just, yeah. Oh, they have actually, I have a family picture that's in my closet that my dad took that um, my, my youngest super was, thin. I was probably, yeah. I, I would say in that picture, I just had my, my second, at, like six months later, I was about 90 pounds. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it was just one of those things that, you know, it's been a, a, a struggle. Right. I always tell people I'm a recovering anorexic. Mm. It's always something that I have to think about. It's mm-hmm. always something that I have to like yeah. talk about. Yeah. Um, and I'm very well aware of it. So it's, and it's something I'm very transparent about as well. So That's I'm not, awesome. I don't yeah. hide it. You ever have any problems with food? Cause I know you were, um, you said you were heavier in college and you lost weight and you yeah. did bikini and figure and powerlifting and back and forth. I think that for the most part, I mean, I don't really know that many people who have competed and haven't had some sort of obsession when it comes agree. to mm-hmm. food. I, I mm, honestly yeah. don't know anyone. Um, you're super skinny and you're yeah. drawn in and you want to be skinny or exactly you, yeah. you, diet you get to a certain weight you think you look great and you either want to stay at that weight which is you know not healthy to Mm. be at or you know you just want to keep going especially i think people who compete are a little bit obsessive um to begin with so yeah i think i um did have some problems after my first show luckily it wasn't anything that was you know ever to a point where it was you know just absolutely detrimental to my health like or my you know mental health but um I think that that's kind of where, you know, powerlifting honestly like took over and it just prevented me from a lot of those issues that I see a lot of girls now having, you know, instead of like I was able to kind of switch gears instead of just wanting to compete and figure and just looking like shredded and lean all the time. I had more, you know, performance based goals Mm -hmm. that I was able to, um, you know, focus on. And, you know, it wasn't ever like it wasn't perfect. I think, you know, even now sometimes like it'll get to a point where like, okay, like, you know, I mean, obviously we always compare ourselves to social media, yeah. other people. It's, it's, you know, it, it, social media is such a good outlet, but at the same time it can be very, um, yeah, damaging to a mm-hmm. lot of people. Yeah. It gives you a false sense of what's yeah, going on. Yeah, it does. But, um, luckily like now, since I've taken a break from, I've actually kind of taken a break from social media as well, just cause I'm just like, oh, you went dark. Yeah, dude, there, there's so many other things that, like, yeah. bring me happiness in my life that I, like, was sick of just, like, looking at my phone all the time or, like, yeah. just, like, being worried about how I looked in a certain pose. Sometimes you travel to, like, a great place yeah. where you're hanging out with great friends and then you find yourself on your phone. You're like, yeah. what the fuck oh am, I am I doing? Yeah. I was in the, the fuck do Philippines I care about my this phone? summer, actually, oh, and, like, I actually <laughs> didn't have, like, much cell phone service while I was there, but it, like made me like appreciate all my time with my family um all the people that i met over there and like i still got my like training in while i was there my Mm. nutrition was on point like i like it was the first time where i haven't purposely tried to diet while on vacation or tried to you know track what i was eating i didn't weigh anything i ate out um and i came back a pound lighter you know so Mm. it's just like one of those (laughs) things like i finally feel like i'm in a good place but i don't think i would have gotten to this point had it not been for powerlifting so are you worried at all about um a little bit so i think um i took a three-year off season for my last figure show just because mentally i needed that break Mm. everyone is like they're all psychopaths after (laughs) competition (laughs) season um and part of me is like all right i'm finally healthy i'm finally you know i have no issues or obsessions with food i'm comfortable with like the way i look right now like 25 pounds over stage weight do I really want to put myself back through that again? Um, 
And I think honestly, like I think every competition season will get easier and easier. And as long as I try to remain objective throughout the whole thing, um, realize that, yeah, I have these goals of, you know, doing really well on stage, like I'm going to kick ass next year. And that's, you know, I'm planning on it. But at the same time, um, I'm also very happy with who I am as a person. And, you know, like I'm not just a competitor, Mm -hmm. you know, I'm I'm a human and I have a lot of other things that make me happy. So I think that, um, yeah, that'll help me a little bit stay stay motivated and yeah, just Stay healthy too. I yeah. think that's you're talking about taking a break from social media. Uh, what about you for social media? Um, you know, with your you, you have a, a 13 year old daughter, you uh-huh. said so. Mm-hmm. You know, I'd imagine like the, the stuff that you would not want her to see and so on. Like if she has her own social media, or if she goes on any of the social media formats, uh-huh. and then also you posting yourself. Uh-huh. Uh, how do you kind of you know control? Do you think of your family if you make every a time. post and like every time? Yeah, okay, oh cool. Yeah. Every time um, I. I decided that Mindful. years ago. Right. And a lot of it is because I just don't ever want them to pay the consequences for a decision that I made. Yeah. yeah. And we live in a small community. <laughs> now, I, I got mm-hmm. a, a comment on this too, a little bit. You know, when people post about their kids, you know, it, it's it's different when you share stuff with your family. You know, when, uh, you know, me and my, my two brothers peed our pants because we were so excited because my parents got us something for Christmas. I can't remember. And so there's an old family photo. We all laugh about it. We all doubt, you know, it's the funniest thing. My mm-hmm. mom whips it out here and there, and we all laugh about it. We share it with friends and family, and I, I don't mind talking about it. But now when you post something, you, your kids are crying because they're scared because somebody dressed up like Santa Claus. or yeah, yeah. You're... You know, I think that people aren't thinking about their children when they post this and yeah. they're not think they're not mindful of the fact that like, hey, you know what? Your your kid could be really upset that you posted this mm-hmm. and shared it with everybody mm-hmm. rather than just shared it. Like mm-hmm. one thing to have it on your phone and you show uncle so and so and he laughs his ass right. off. Oh, he's being a little <laughs> pussy. <laughs> he laughs about yeah. it. Right. <laughs> and everybody gets a good kick out of it. But it, it is strange to me that. People will post stuff about their kids a lot, mm-hmm. and and their kids are now in the line of fire. I made the same decision that you're talking about, where I don't want my kids in that line yeah. of fire. I chose this route and this mm-hmm. path, and if my children are in the background of something, not a huge deal, right? Things like that aren't aren't that big of an issue, but I try to leave them out of it. Yeah. And my yeah. wife will post like more personal stuff because only the people that she knows personally follow her and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Right. Uh, if I post about my kids, it's really always strictly about them at that moment and right. their their thing. Right. Um, but I've always been very, I've always shared my family. Mm-hmm. Um, and so my middle, not so much. She's a lot more gun shy. Mm-hmm. Um, and then my oldest, I'm very well aware that she is at the age of middle school where, yeah. right. believe it or yeah. not, these kids are like this. All, Does you know? she have yeah. a phone? No. Yeah, she I, was but she's at that season. age. I'm the evil mom that she. <laughs> I don't she, think that's that bad. I mean, I'm a little bit older, obviously, but I got my first cell phone uh, when I uh, could drive. I think that yeah. was the rule. Like, Our, yeah, like, hey, 15, motherfucker, you're yeah. gonna be yeah, like lost on the road. You can yeah. call me now. So, you know, and, and I was allowed like only my parents' number in there for mm-hmm. a while and stuff yeah. like that. Our rule is, if she wants a phone, she has to have a job to be able to pay for it. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. So she has an iPod, and she her big oh, okay. thing was, is can I have an Instagram? For when she turned 13 mm-hmm. and that was a very big deal between my husband and yeah. I it was mm. do we or do we well, not an iPod possesses all the same abilities yeah. as right. a phone yeah. absolutely yeah. Uh, and other than you can't make a phone call or you, you, you have to have Wi-Fi but, yeah but sometimes you can yeah, yeah. yeah. you can do anything yeah but you can, um, yeah, yeah, so. yeah true you do and have you to, can you can text well, and it's funny too because like a phone still works if you turn the Wi-Fi off yeah, yeah. my yeah, yeah. <laughs> the iPod does not work if you turn yeah, the Wi-Fi my off. my wife got my son an iPod when he was like nine or ten yeah and uh i was like oh no this isn't happening like what's going on here yeah. i was like this possesses all the same she didn't yeah, it know does. it yeah. does she just thought it was like music you um, know? Yeah. And i was so like yeah it, I, I, it's funny because she still thinks i'm not the cool mom because really if she doesn't have wi-fi she can't make any phone calls mm-hmm. she can't do anything mm-hmm. um so it really limits her to school and home <laughs> yeah. um because really where else she's going to be where there's wi-fi yeah. without yeah, me yeah. um but so, you know, one of the big things that we t- talked about is that if we felt like it was ever 
remotely impacting her Mm -hmm. that it was done it's gone gone Mm -hmm. and we have complete control over it i mean my husband checks it he'll he'll click the like button on purpose just be like yeah i'm following you (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah it's good um and he's he's the guy with the ghost picture like he doesn't Uh like my husband has no social media presence whatsoever (laughs) um and he says you you do enough for the both of us so Mm -hmm. um but she's very well aware and her friends are very well aware of who i am and they all follow me so that is to me that's even more incentive to just continue to stay true to who i am right to never fall into the trap of like mm-hmm. oh i'm gonna post this because it's just gonna get attention you mm-hmm. know um i posted something the other day that um we were just talking about earlier about never sacrifice uh respect for attention mm-hmm. and that is something that i work really hard with my Agreed. kids is respect mm-hmm. is so much more i think important. you've done a good job of that yeah Thank you. I, I, Thank you. absolutely yeah. i agree 100 yeah. you're like perfect example of that i think and you know and there Appreciate it's it. it's far it's you know few and far between it really is especially mm-hmm. in our industry it's, yeah. it's it's easy to fall into the trap of okay well if i just show a little bit more yeah. of this so yeah. you get the mark you know, tried it didn't work yeah <laughs> <laughs> i was sticking that I mean, booty I'm out for a couple weeks in a row just a little bit more thong was getting a little smaller a little tighter um no my and i'm i I completely agree. You have been awesome about that. I mean, I don't very, actually, I don't follow very many females for a reason. And mm-hmm. I, I love Leanna's. When you went on your vacation, I was mm-hmm. creeping you big time because uh-huh. I was like, I love these pictures. They're <laughs> awesome. You. Well, it's, it's and, hard too. I mean, especially in an industry where, I mean, sex sells in any industry, but at the same absolutely. time, you know, there's, there's always like a new, young, hot group absolutely. of fitness yeah. girls. Right. Yeah. And, um, yeah, you know, you, it, becomes a point where like oh wow like i have to keep doing this this and this to stay relevant yeah Yeah. i'm not a big believer in slippery slope arguments but that's one of them that's true it is very true it is very true and you you want to just be like this part of this like herd of of girls that's like just showing their stuff all the time yeah Yeah. i don't know and it's a decision that you'd have to make and i i'm fine either way but it's still (laughs) a decision you know well and you know it's one of those things that works for you know, there's a lot of people that are good people. There's people that yeah, are, yeah. Making, yeah. are yeah. willing. To people that are making yeah. money, making uh, a living, yeah. and, and they have it. sponsorship, and, and they're, they're getting the likes. And in the our industry things. too, uh, sex sells uh, just as much for guys. Too. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say the guys yeah. are just as bad oh, yeah. in our industry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You go to a Budweiser commercial, yeah, it's probably more chicks, and you know the yeah. pop meat, but in in fitness, oh, like yeah. guys are fucking I yeah. nothing. I don't need to see below a guy's like navel. No, guys have to throw. They have to throw emojis over to cover. You're like, dude, what are you? What are you really showing? Yeah, it's insane. And, you know, it's interesting, too, because, like, anytime someone I, you know, I'll be, like, scrolling on Instagram, mm-hmm. and there will be, like, some dude, I agree with you, that's, like, yeah, you know, and they're, like, <laughs> leave very little to the imagination, yeah. you know? <laughs> and it's, like, never in a million years will I like that, number one, because I have a husband. That's, like, total disrespect to him mm-hmm. for yeah. me to, like, oh, yeah, you know? Right. And, two, why are you doing that? Yeah. Like, yeah. really? And also, right. like, I don't know that I would ever, like, buy a product from someone if that's all they were about you know you're all about okay i am a fitness person and all i I have nothing educational to contribute i no um, story yeah Yeah. it's It's like it's like one of those things that like long term is that the best you know path to go toward i don't think so because we all get old we Uh, all get old we all get opposite side of that i do think every once in a while you need to show people that you are able to to do the stuff within this industry. So yeah. every yeah. once in a while, yeah. you do need to show your body. You do need to show that you can yeah, lift a certain sure. weight. Uh, you do need to sometimes show a progress picture. Absolutely. Like and I, I know do how do to that. lose weight. I know how to gain weight. I can know how to do these different things. Uh, unfortunately, you, you kind of have to show that you can do it because you have to show that you're in the front lines. Absolutely. Yeah. And I will show. There's still a tasteful way to there's, do that. I yeah. will actually show pictures. like Because a lot of people think that just because I don't compete anymore means, oh, you probably don't like work out as hard or mm-hmm. diet or whatever. I mean, whatever diet, I'm not going to go there. But right. um, but I will show like, hey, when I flex, I have abs. Yeah. You know, like right. I will do that. Yeah. Um, but, and again. Plus that, you feel good about it. Yeah. I do sure. feel good about so, it because I mean. Nothing wrong with saying that. I could that. easily go a different direction if yeah. I wanted to. And I did for a while, you yeah. know. Yeah. I got up to, I mean, I'm 5'3 and I was up, you know, 140 pounds, you know, yeah. of not muscle. <laughs> <laughs> it was just uh, yeah, lots Mike of fun. Yeah, Mike and I have had people kind of say, oh, you're only posting that for likes. It's like. Course. That's why we have yeah. social media. Yeah, well, exactly. I want people to know I still take it seriously yeah, yeah. too. Yeah, you know? you guys uh. contribute, you know, a lot more than just your butt pics. So thank you. That's why people people will listen to you and they will buy your product because it's a good product. Thank you. You're welcome. Leanna <laughs> understands. I would like one signed, please. But it a is signed butt cheek. 
but but <laughs> pick, like, but pick, but a butt okay. pick. <laughs> how, do, how do we get there? I don't, I don't know. know. Lana, you're I don't gross. know what she wants. Oh. Sign. She is so gross. Who oh, invited her? Blame it on. I'm already off the team. <laughs> blame it on so the monster energy drink. You're off the team, so I'm you ready. can say whatever. It's <laughs> cool. No shame. <laughs> No, but I agree with you. I agree with you. You do feel like you have to stay somewhat relevant, you know, especially like my Instagram. I think I created a long time ago and it says Brooke Erickson, IFBB pro. And I'm like, shit, I haven't competed in three mm-hmm. years. <laughs> like, do people take yeah. me seriously anymore? And, they um, do. Uh, yeah, but, but you Same. feel that way. So you have to right. learn to number one, be able to disconnect yourself from that identity and still show them, Hey, if that was gone tomorrow, I'm still going to bust my ass in this yeah. gym and I'm still going to do this and I'm still going to do that. I, sure. I don't need that, but you know, exactly. I'm still here and I will continue to be here. Let's hope you're still here 10 years from now. Yeah. You know, good for so. you. That's what we're I'm going to be 50 and still be like, look at my abs. You know? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. We want to be lifting for as long as possible. Definitely. I do. That's my goal. Definitely. I did that. And like when my kids start growing to be able to race them and, yeah, yeah. you know, and show them like, oh, yeah, you think you're fast? Watch this. You know, like, yeah. it's and it's true. Yeah. It's true. And my daughter has legit beat me when we've gone running together oh, cool. on the last like, you know, the 400 where you're like, OK, let's sprint this. Mm. And we've been running for a while because she has a condition for soccer mm. and she will legit that's great. Me. Like, that's awesome. I'm not kidding. Yeah, yeah. Where I'm like, <laughs> we'll get home, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you really did. She really like, I tried hard. Mm-hmm. Like, and I, I think I'm gonna throw up now. And she's <laughs> yeah. totally fine. But I love that. Yeah, I love great. that yeah. challenge, and I don't ever want to be that mom. You gotta just kid. tell her like, I, I was barely trying. pulled a hammy. Yeah. <laughs> no, she and she tells in. her friends like it's, it's a cool yeah, thing yeah, for her. Great. Like, because then her friends, you know, they see me as you know, like, oh, your mom mm-hmm. does this, or your mom bodybuilding.com. You know, they. So for that's her, awesome. that's like I me mean, and my son Jake had an epic race on the beach that Mike filmed. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. It took Mark, me Mark like peeled out. He dug <laughs> a ten foot hole. <laughs> to his hamstrings. I've seen this. Like I think I saw it on. It was on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I, did, I did see that. He was one. like peeling out, and then his son took off, and then I think it, Jake started laughing, and Mark came out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> it, took me, it took me like ten minutes to get going. <laughs> <laughs> but once you got going, once I got going, I was yeah, good. Yeah, he wasn't <laughs> stopping either. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's the problem. I can't stop. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep going. Yeah, can't you, stop, won't stop. Do you do you plan on like do you want to have kids one day or do, or, I mean do you um, ever think about that and like yeah. how you would incorporate You're getting this old lifestyle? Oh, I mean, you are twenty five. You should start. I actually thinking. did totally feel kidding. old the other day. I was like, oh, okay, shoot. she's not I'm like a quarter of a century <laughs> old. I'm making you guys feel old. I apologize. Um, but yeah, one of these days, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like, okay, what You're does that old. make me? I'm getting there. Apart. I'm getting there. Nah. I'm, I'm already there. So. <laughs> 39. Okay. That's a good age. I think what so. do you know yeah. about it? I'm sure it's... <laughs> I, I'm just saying, I don't have my shit together right now. And hopefully by the time I'm 39, you I'll have your my shit, shit together. together. That's fair. I, I think I, actually, I even if you don't, you're just to. a little bit more chill about it. <laughs> like, you know you don't have your shit together yeah, and you're okay like, with it's it? It's like, it's all right. It's, 25. We're just going to keep going. Stuff out. The, but uh, I'm just going to roll with it. The whole thing is just to pretend... Like you know what you're doing. Yeah. Tell people my secret. <laughs> Fake have, it till you make it. Exactly. I have, I have no I'm clue right what's now. going on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where I am right now. <laughs> yeah. Family one day. Haven't thought much past that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want kids yet. I'm not ready for kids. Oh, speaking of kids, I had a baby throw up on me today um, on the airplane on oh the way God. here. Oh, is that Amazing. what you were talking yeah. about? I heard you. So that's why. I'm yeah, no. I was asleep and I had a. Oh. Well, it was like a two-year-old. Baby puke. Yeah, oh, it, it, kind no, of toddler puke. It was like puke. some other kind of puke. I don't. It, it, I had to Alien. get rid of my clothing. It was that bad. <laughs> oh my gosh! So. What did the parent? Was she just mortified? Yeah, she gave me a fifty-dollar gift card to. Uh, oh really? Buffalo's, That's really nice. I think. Or, yeah, <laughs> Outback. <laughs> Here, go eat some wings. <laughs> she just pulled it out of her wallet. She, she sent it to me. She asked for my email. Oh, I was That's like, amazing. So, so yeah, yeah. Um, it was a re-gift. Yeah. Here, it must have been like Gap or something, right? To get clothes, get more clothes. My kid barfed on you so now go eat out back <laughs> she couldn't venue <laughs> venmo you some cash or yeah, something i mean no be uh, it, it was a nice counts? gesture yeah. and I, th- I don't think she meant for her child to she's puke probably on me. oh no that's so I was, always uh, yeah I, I felt bad i felt just as like mortified as she was so because oh. i'd puke on me but i felt bad for her too so that's amazing <laughs> yeah so no kids for me in the near future <laughs> i think that that's was like good a birth sign. control right yeah. there that was a sign like you're 25 you do not want kids here PTSD <laughs> yeah, so. tamp down any maternal yeah. feelings you might have been having. Yeah, so that was the start yeah, of my just, trip. Let's uh, just have an awkward silence for a little bit here. <laughs> and break. And uh, all right. Uh, where can people find you guys? Websites, social medias? What do people Colorado. What you got? 
Oh, whoa. <laughs> I know. Yeah, they'll <laughs> show up. They'll yeah. show up. You better watch yourself. <laughs> and, like, and your address, please? <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, I moved. That's, yeah, I shouldn't uh, tell yeah. people that. I'm in Mexico. <laughs> I'm, I would love to go to Mexico. Um, I'll be on my Instagram, on? my email, leannacar1 at gmail.com. Boom. Um, cool. Yeah, just traveling. I'll be in the Dominican Republic in a couple of weeks. Oh, nice. Hosting a powerlifting meet Getting over some there. Coffee actually. Or oh, shit. really? Oh. Yeah. That's, That's cool. Awesome. Uh, myself, uh, Bryce Lewis. Oh, cool. Super strong. You guys know Bryce. We Everyone know Bryce knows Bryce. Of course we do. Congratulations, Bryce, on your going to national the w- championship. Going to Worlds. Yeah. Um, and then Alberto. We're going to be over cool. there with. Thanks for uh, inviting me and Mark. You want to well. come? Well. Oh, I Take actually lots of videos. Oh, don't lie. Don't lie now. No, I really did. Don't lie now because I called you out. It's one of their first powerlifting meets in the country, though. That's I really cannot cool. wait to see what the humidity does to Berto's hair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's My great. hair. But yeah. his hair but can his just like. Oh That's great. That's a good point. That's a yeah, really good point. Yeah, it's a busy next couple months. Cool. And then I'll be awesome. starting a prep. And next time you guys see me, I'll probably be shredded. She'll be Jacked stage conditioned. Damn. Us yeah. too. If you so. can't tone it, tan it. That's what I always say. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> can't tone it, tan it. Can't that works you think I look good now? <laughs> wait till you Just see me in a few wait. weeks. Uh, I have Instagram, uh, Brooke Erickson Fitness, and I have a website and a body space and Facebook. Yeah. What's your What's your website? Uh, Brooke Erickson There you go. Make yeah. everything the same, so it's. I, I try to keep everything the same except access. for on Facebook. It's Be Fit Brooke Erickson Fitness. I don't cool. know why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I did it so long ago. It happened that way. Yeah. I, you know, and then it just kind of stayed that way, and I just haven't changed it. But Either I like one it. of you guys YouTube it? Um, Leanna did and quit. I kind of did. did for a while. I have, like, two YouTube videos. Um, But <laughs> I will say Dang. I'm documenting my entire prep. Oh, Smart. there you go. Oh. So, um, I need a YouTube. So you might make a comeback. Yeah, I will make a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. It, yeah. I've been here for years. Yeah, exactly. I actually think I will be YouTubing quite a bit because in December I'm doing a 30 day challenge with Diamond Ties. Cool. cool. So, and we're going to have to do like workouts and stuff to Very challenge cool. people, yeah. which Good. I'm going to stabi- do a squat on a Keep medicine ball. Could you drop a video <laughs> here and there? Yeah. yeah. Boom, bada bang. Try a video over the exactly. week. I only that's have like 700 subscribers. It's <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's okay. been my motivation too. I like. 700 turns into 800. I'm not very. Yeah, yeah exactly. And I. I s- I think in the past I've always felt like a little uncomfortable in front of a camera. Yeah, same but with I'm me. just like if I can produce content that is helpful to people, yeah. then yeah. yeah. And the more yeah, you do it, the more get you get used it. to it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just like everything else. So. Yeah, like I was really nervous for this, and it, it's I easy, right? Good. It's, it's easy. easy. <laughs> Well, of course, you guys made Everybody, it really easy, yeah. honestly. That. That's just because we're big meatheads. I <laughs> saw your YouTube <laughs> video, <laughs> and I, I really liked it. It was oh, the one you. that was, um, I'm not. I'm not something. Not no. retarded? No. <laughs> that's good. I'm not remarkable or something like yeah. that? Yeah. 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 And yeah. I really yeah. liked yeah. it because I think it, it it's very relatable to Thank people you. that yeah, they that feel is, like they have to like be this, this, you know, something, whatever, mm-hmm. to be a part of something awesome. You know, yeah. like, oh, if I don't have this title or I haven't lifted this amount mm-hmm. of weight or if I haven't won this and you don't count yeah, for yeah, whatever yeah. reason. Yeah. And I thought it was really awesome. Thank you. Go silent mic. That's silent a long time mic. to edit. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was probably the longest uh, video I ever spent. It took like a whole day. Did it really? Yeah. I oh. f- I first did it for my buddy Omar, and he's like, uh, "Oh, he's like, you should talk about this, uh, and I'll put it on my channel." I was like, "All right, I guess so." It took me so long to edit, whip ripping videos left and right. Yeah. I don't even know what I'm doing to begin yeah. with, so it didn't help. Oh, it's that's another thing with the YouTube thing. Yeah, there's a lot. I don't know. How I am. It, terrible it, uh, to do basic editing, it, you can learn really quick on iMovie uh, to get a little more complex. It takes some time. Cool. Take some skills. Mm. Multiply hustle, multiply muscle, and may all your shits be tapered on Matt Mark Smelly Bell on Instagram and Twitter later. Big shout out to all our sponsors, 8 Man Strong Apparel at 8manstrong.com, bodybuilding.com for all your supplement needs, increase your bench, how much your bench.net, power the only strength magazine, available digital and print, thepowermagazine.com. And muscle stim products from compexusa.com. Use the code POWERCAST for 28% off the already reduced prices for a limited time only. I'm Silent Mike, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, everywhere. I'm Jimmy D, STTV, everywhere that I would want you to find me. Follow the show on Instagram. We are at Mark Bell's Powercast. Mark Bell's Powercast is a production of supertraining.tv.